Breaking news everyone, Tesla will buy 75,000 tons of nickel over six years from Talon. Tesla also agrees to buy cobalt and iron ore from Talon. Apparently this is worth 1.5 billion dollars and enough nickel for approximately 1.6 million vehicles over six years. Welcome back dear friends, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com with breaking news. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and give us thumbs up if you find this report informative. Reuters report that Tesla has signed its first US nickel supply deal, choosing Talon Metals Tamarack Mine Project in Minnesota due to plans to make the electric vehicle battery metal in a way it considers more environmentally friendly. The deal announced on Monday comes as demand for nickel is expected to jump over the next decades as electric vehicles go mainstream. Nickel bolsters energy storage in a battery cathode, which in turn extends an electric vehicle's range. Tesla chief executive Elon Musk in 2020 pleaded with the mining industry to produce more nickel in an environmentally sensitive way. That was a quote for Elon Musk, in an environmentally sensitive way. Musk also derided US nickel production as objectively very lame. By sourcing from Talon's Minnesota the project, a joint venture with Rio Tino, is stated to open by 2026. Elon Musk secures a key U.S. source of the metal for Tesla battery factories in Texas and Nevada, says Reuters, while also reducing the company's supply lines. The automaker last year signed nickel supply deals with BHP in Australia and from New Caledonia. Indonesia is the world's largest nickel producer, but miners there typically use energy intensive technology to extract the metal and deploy controversial waste disposal practices, including dumping waste rock in waterways. Talon Material plans to use technology it hopes will allow it to suck carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and chemically bind it, and thus permanently store it to uh, rocks found inside the Tamarax project in northern Minnesota. The process, which is still being tested, would effectively let Talon market nickel as carbon neutral, a huge appeal for Elon Musk and Tesla. Responsible sourcing of battery materials has long been a focus for Tesla, Drew Baglino, a Tesla executive, said in a press release. Tesla plans to buy 75,000 tons of nickel concentrate over six years as well as smaller amounts of cobalt and iron ore at London Metal Exchange listed prices. It was not immediately clear where Tesla will refine the nickel concentrate. The United States does not have a nickel refinery. Shares of Talon were halted just before the news was released. Shares of Tesla closed Monday up 3%. Talon is excited to support Tesla's mission to accelerate the translation uh, transition to renewable energy. Henry Van Ruyen Talon CEO said in a statement. Friends, in 2020, Tesla inked a deal for lithium supply with Piedmont Lithium for its Texas battery plant, but the deal was halted last year amidst rising opposition in North Carolina to Piedmont's proposed mine. So, this is generally good news, but I am personally hoping that uh, Tesla can achieve its goals of making electric vehicles and more batteries, of moving away from cobalt and only minimally add uh, in nickel. So uh, let's, let me know, friends, your thoughts. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. I think this is good news that Tesla is securing more battery materials because a lot of companies now that uh, electric vehicles are going mainstream will need materials for their batteries. The battery material need will jump soon, in my opinion. So what do you think? Let me know in comment section. Please subscribe to our channel. This is Armin Haryan for TorqueNews.com with daily Tesla news announcements. Uh, God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. I look forward to reading your comments. And let's move on to our next. Tesla story. Tesla is getting very close to start the 4680 battery production at Gigafactory Texas, friends. Joe Techmeyer, who regularly provides Gigafactory Texas flyovers, drone flyovers and information, has tweeted these images saying some interesting special deliveries are happening at Gigafactory Texas, including 4680 modular production equipment being loaded into the third floor of the battery cell structure. This has been 
a busy Monday for Gigafactory Texas friends. Tesla Giga Texas continues to receive equipment to produce the 4680 battery cells, which are very vital for Tesla's success, Tesla's growth, and so on. Battery modular production equipment was delivered to the third floor of the battery cell workshop at the beginning of this week. Tesla's 4680 battery cells are one of the company's most important products as they will reduce the cost of electric vehicles, improve their performance and range, and also contribute to even faster growth in the manufacturer's production capacity. Due to the difficulties that Tesla faced in 2020, the company has not yet been able to achieve mass production. During the earnings call for 2020 quarter two, Tesla CEO Elon Musk shared some details saying, right now we have a challenge with basically what's called calendrating um, or basically squashing the cathode with material to a particular height. So it just goes through these rollers and gets squashed like pizza Though, basically so they are improving this and now they should be ready to start the 4680 battery production at gigafactory texas recently giga texas construction progress observer joe techmeyer like i said shared these images and photos of truck delivering containers with equipment to the factory battery workshop it has also been loaded to the third floor of the building where a that it will be installed so battery production at giga texas looks like is going to to be in the third floor and probably brought to the first floor put in the cars that's my assumption what do you think friends so delays in mass producing of 4680 tesla battery cells may have worried some investors says eva fox from tesmanian but the shipment of this equipment to giga texas could indicate tesla is seriously making some steady progress with 4680 battery production since the equipment has been supplied to giga texas for several months now this also means that the manufacturer Tesla is actively preparing to launch mass production of its battery cells. Mass production is expected to launch very soon at Gigafactory Berlin 2, where we're getting some latest information, which I am about to reveal in my next story. So please stay with us in, to, until I prepare my next report. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily breaking Tesla announcements, battery announcement, electric vehicle announcement, and have a wonderful day. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. And let's move on to our next Tesla story. I have two positive announcements about Tesla Giga Berlin this morning. The first announcement is about the results of public objections against Tesla Giga Berlin. There is a quote from approval authorities regarding that, that I'm going to share with you today. It's from today. And the second is what the approval authorities currently are working on when it comes to approval. Welcome back on this Monday morning, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first, time please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla announcements and also ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and please also give us thumbs up if you find this report helpful and interesting so experts expect approval of tesla giga berlin in a few weeks reports brandenburg's public radio uh, today and the first announcement is that the officials are currently checking the plant safety precautions for accidents in the factory. So, you know, now, uh, approval of Tesla Giga Berlin is that the approval authorities need to go through different phases, checking this, checking that, make sure this works well, make sure that works well, what happens if there is an accident. So today they're working on uh, plant safety precautions that Tesla has in place for Giga, Giga, Giga Berlin. In, in case of an accident in the factory and the second regards the objections from population against the uh, giga berlin the objections from the population to the industrial settlement meanwhile did not result in any quote-unquote significant obstacles to approval as the uh, lfu announced on friday so this is a good news that the objections that have slowed down the Giga Berlin's approval for so many months now have not resulted in any significant obstacles to approval as the LFU announced on Friday. Now, what is LFU? LFU is the environment, state environment agency, which is very, very pop, uh, powerful and is the approval authority for Giga Berlin. As I reported on Saturday, Tesla is now allowed to test 
2,000 bodies in its electric vehicle factory Giga Berlin in Grünheide. The state environment agency allowed this last Friday. In October of last year, in 2021, the LFU had already given Tesla pre-approval to build 250 bodies. With this, the company wanted to test how well the press shop and paint shop of Giga Berlin work. According to LFU, Tesla has informed the authorities that the resulting bodies are of poor quality. This is why Tesla needs more time and more testing. This is why Tesla has requested uh, 2,000 bodies to be built as test and wants to test the production machines again uh, with the construction of another 2,000 bodies. The LFU allowed this in a pre-approval on Friday as I reported Saturday. However, the company is not allowed to sell these vehicles because the factory has st uh, still not received the final approval. Tesla has only built so far with pre-approvals and will have to tear everything down if uh, the final approval is not given for any reason. And as I said in the beginning, experts expect Giga Berlin's approval in a few weeks. The officials are currently checking the planned safety precautions for accidents in the factory, the objections for the population uh, from the population to the industrial settlement Giga Berlin, meanwhile, did not result in any quote unquote significant obstacles to approval, which is good news as the LFU announced Fridays. Well, friends, let me know your thoughts on all of this i think it's good that we see that the approval authorities are actively working checking this checking that and it is making very good sense that the experts expect now the approval to come in a few weeks this is armin harayan from torquenews.com have a wonderful rest of the day look forward to our next tesla coverage today we will have i'm planning five tesla stories today god bless you everyone peace be with all of you i'll look forward to reading your comments and your thoughts in the comment section below have a wonderful day and let's move on to our next tesla story